So for the first part of this video, I'm just going to show you some of the real basic concepts within Mechatronics Concept Designer within NX. I'm going to start with a completely new part. So I'm going to File New, OK. And as you can see, at this moment, I've got absolutely nothing on my screen. I'm going to create a feature called Sketch. And this is the equivalent, really, of me having my pencil and actually going in there and creating some sort of 2D geometry. And I'm just going to sketch a real simple concept. So I'm going to draw a line, which is going to represent something like maybe a conveyor, and something which may represent our product. And at this stage, these are just lines, or curves as we refer to them. I'm now going to use a feature called Extrude. And what this is going to enable me to do is take this 2D geometry and turn this into surfaces and solids, so giving us actual 3D shapes. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with our square. And again, I can make this a 3D body. I'm just going to hide off those 2D sketches. And now we've got a very, very simple set of shapes. If I hit play under the simulate option, this is basically turning on simulation. And what this should be doing now is actually looking at physics. So taking consideration of things like gravity, uh, mass. But at the moment, nothing is happening because I haven't actually applied anything to these parts. If I stop this, if I now select rigid body, and we select our block, what this is doing, this is automatically now looking at this based on a set material, and it's assigning a mass. If I go OK, and I now hit play, you can see what happens. Our object actually just falls under gravity, because it's now actually being taken into account when it does the simulation. At the moment, it doesn't fall on this surface, because we now need to apply something like this, which is called collision body. If I select collision body, and I select the same block, I'm going to tell it this is a box. I can also have highlight collision, so I can see this physically highlight when it collides with something else. I'm not going to worry about that for now, and I'm going to apply this. And I'm also going to make this a collision body. Again, if I go OK, and I now hit play, we can see what's happened. This has just basically fallen, and it's landed on this surface. This isn't just an animation where it's gone from A to B. If I was to hold my left mouse button and drag this, I can move this around. If I let go, I can just drop it. I could, if I wanted to, look, drop it right near the edge. I could throw it around. And I could, if I wanted to, look, throw it completely off, and now it's falling into oblivion. If I stop that, everything remains and goes back to its original position. I'm now going to go to an example with a little bit more geometry. And again, if I hit play, I've got my rigid bodies and my collision bodies applied, so it's falling. I'm now going to use my next feature, which is called a transport surface. I'm going to select this, and the first thing it's asking me is which direction. This is basically mimicking a conveyor. I'm going to select this direction, and I can set some sort of a speed in here. We're just going to go for something like 100 millimetres per second. If I apply that, I'm going to do the same now on several surfaces. On this one, I'm actually going to change the direction. And I'm going to hit apply. And on this one, I'm going to choose this direction. But no, I haven't applied a transport surface to this. If I now hit play, you can see exactly what we're getting. If I want to see this now with more bodies, so the blocks are basically dropping, I can hit stop. And I can use another object source. So this is another feature within Mechatronics. And if I select these now, I can specify a value. So how many do I want based on a per second? If I say two and go OK, if I now hit play, we're going to see these drop every two seconds. But this is just allowing us to look at things like throughput and you know how many of these can we have coming along. And also we can start to see well, what is actually happening when these are landing at the bottom. And again, like you've seen before, I could actually pick these up and decide to throw some of these off if I want. I could also go into a feature which we call a runtime table, a runtime inspector, which is equivalent to like a watch table in Tier Portal. And I could say, well, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send my transport surface there. And this is just double clicking. I select this. And where I've now got my parallel speed on the fly, look, I could click on that and I could speed that up. So now if we look here, this is running faster. I could also go into here and actually deactivate it. So now we can see that conveyor actually isn't running. 
And now I can just turn that back on again. And these are just really simple features within Mechatronics. Da, da.